Hinckley is a small town in California. It is located in San Bernardino County in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Hinckley is a tiny town that mostly relies on agriculture as its main source of economy. Hinckley has a population of 1,718 estimated individuals. The average income per household is $57,096. Before the groundwater of Hinckley, California was contaminated. It provided for all the citizens of the town. The water under Hinckley was in a large aquifer that was not too far below the earth. The groundwater was used for irrigation and drinking. Currently, the water in Hinckley is contaminated by a large plume of chromium-6. Chromium-6 is a carcinogen. Chromium-6 was unintentionally added to the groundwater by the Pacific Gas and Electric Company, commonly known as PG&E. PG&E runs a compressor station for natural gas transmission pipelines in Hinckley. The station uses large cooling towers in order to cool the gas after it has been compressed. Between 1952 and 1966, the water used in the cooling towers contained chromium-6 in order to keep the towers from rusting. Between uses, the water was stored in large unlined ponds. Because the ponds were unlined, the water percolated into the groundwater. The groundwater was polluted which affected the soil and contaminated water wells near the station. At the time, the plume of contaminated water was two miles long and one mile wide. The groundwater in Hinckley was estimated to have a peak of 20 parts per billion of chromium. This is well over the California proposed health goal of 0.02 parts per billion. The high amounts of chromium-6 made the water unsafe for drinking. Chromium-6 causes damage to several organs and can cause several types of cancer. It can also alter human DNA, which means that the effects of exposure can affect future generations. In 1977, when PG&E reported the presence of chromium-6 in the water, the levels were 10 times greater than the limits allowed by California. As of April 2017, one-half to two-thirds of the chromium-6 in Hankley has been removed from the groundwater. However, the cleanup is still estimated to take over 40 years. In 2013, the California Regional Water Quality Control Board found that the plume of contaminated water was 8 miles long and 2 miles wide. The quality of the groundwater in Hinkley has been improved with efforts to remove chromium-6 from the water. However, there still remains traces of the carcinogen in the water. The chromium is still spreading. In 2010, an investigator found that the plume of contaminated water had moved into the lower aquifer. Legal clerk Aaron Brockovich investigated the health impacts of the contamination in 1993. Aaron Brockovich helped 693 Hinkley residents sue the company responsible for the contamination, Pacific Gas and Electric Company. In 1996, the residents won $333 million in a settlement from PG&E. In 2013, residents that were not part of the original lawsuit sued PG&E again. They said that because the water is still contaminated, their homes are worth nothing now. This case settled with PG&E for $333 million. However, many of the residents did not receive all the money of the that they were entitled to. Because the case was settled behind closed doors, there are no official records of the settlement. The residents in the case were supposed to receive $300,000 each. Many of the residents of Hinkley only received $100,000 or less. Global climate change would not affect our resource because the contamination affects only groundwater. The local population will be affected by the contamination. The water that is contaminated in Hinkley is used for drinking and agriculture. Because the water has carcinogens in it, the residents can no longer use it for drinking water. The contamination of the water had, has also led to the devilation of the houses in the area. Recovery of the water is still possible. Up to this point, PG&E has spent $750 million cleaning up the water. However, the director of the chromium remediation, Kevin Sullivan, says that it will take another 40 years to clean up the water. He claims PG&E has already cleaned up 54 acres of the water. PG&E built a barrier to contain the plume of chromium. They have also pumped ethanol into the groundwater to turn chromium-6 into chromium-3, which is not a carcinogen. Lastly, they have planted alfalfa in order to absorb the contaminated water.